Good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Lana Scott Lighthouse. So guys, this is going to be a reading for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. And of course, they had to let my right ear go off before I could even get my opening up. <laughs> so, our message is a little bit different today because I asked it a different way. I asked a general message for the fire signs and what was the, the biggest energy and then I asked about their map to get there, and they threw in some more different messages. So these two readings go together a little bit, but not all together. And I think the reason why it came out this way this morning is because they're just wanting to point out some different things to different people. Because every time I call in other people's angels and ancestors and spirit guides and stuff, it keeps feeling like more and more energies are showing up to get more and more messages to different people. So it's not going to resonate for everyone. I trust that if it resonates, it's yours now. If it doesn't resonate now, maybe it will at a later date. Um, we'll just, I'm just, we're just going to dive right in here so that y'all can uh, see what we got here, okay? So we start off with um, birth for Burka. Now, just mind you guys, these, these readings are starting to be now where um, it's for the people whose gifts have already come in or, and that you're aware of whatever gifts um, that you have. And this message especially, we've got the birth room, which means your gifts have come in, but some of you have been fighting it, or you're not understanding it, or you're not seeing it, or it's not what you thought that it was, okay? But at any rate, you've been... It's, it's, taking, it's just taking you a little bit more time than what you thought it would, maybe. And some of you may be like, gee, is that the only gift I have? And you're just kind of like not happy about it, okay? <clears throat> Guys, sometimes it takes time for the different gifts to come in, okay? So, don't be too frustrated. But for whatever, so a lot of you are um, already on your spiritual journey. You have gone through an opening. And you have found some kind of, um, you're relieved, yet at the same time, again, it just feels like they're saying you're not all that very happy about some of the things that you're seeing. Or maybe you even have a trouble discerning um, you know, maybe you are one of those people that's picking up movies or lines from books, or you're hearing a song and you're still having trouble connecting it. Okay. Also, I feel like some of you, um, have, uh, are, are also in the process of looking for, um, a new place to live or some kind of new work. And it, for some of you and others of you, now that you know what your gifts are, you're really excited and you're and you're looking forward to how you're going to use them in the future. Okay. And a lot of you at least are beginning to see the signs, synchronicities of the different gifts. And you're just kind of breathing a sigh of relief while others of you are still kind of frustrated because you're like, either you don't want to deal with it, you don't like it, you've been fighting it. Okay. So we're getting like a sort of a two different kinds of little messages here. Okay, guys. But at any rate, there have been an opening, and some of you are fighting it. Some of you are going, let's go, let's go, let's go. So it's just going to depend on how this resonates with you. And I've got at least, it feels like at least two groups of spirit guides and angels in here, and they're both trying to get a message in. So guys, take it how it resonates. I think for some of you, I think your spirit guides and angels are here are telling you, be patient. They know that you're frustrated, but it's okay. While the other group is telling y'all, yes, we're trying to help you figure all this out. You're now going forward. You know, you're going through this opening. You're on your way. So guys, take that how it resonates, okay? Because again, I'm seeing two different messages in here, all right? Then we have, having come through the opening, the majority of you are going, I'm glad that beginning part stuff is over and you are like really, really happy about it. Okay. Because now you're getting the sign synchronicities. You're getting the messages. You're meeting other people. You're listening to all your messages that are coming in and you are feeling more like a, you're, you're integrating your gifts into your soul consciousness, your soul consciousness. They're saying you're also integrating it into your evolution into your mental your they're showing me a brain expanding so guys i've been telling y'all i feel like we're all expanding and it's not on a physical level it's on an intuitive level i believe but at any rate they're saying you're becoming more whole now okay you have broke through in the process of self-change with your gifts coming in and your soul and your 
how do I describe that? They're saying you, not just your physical body, but they're saying your soul plus the ether of the soul. What is the ether of the soul? It's not your soul, but it's something that goes along with your soul. The ether of your soul, guys, take that how it resonates. I'm not quite sure what that means. But they're saying you're integrating all those parts of you. And guys, I've never heard of ether of the soul. If anyone has ever heard that before, let me know because they just said, and they're saying it again, ether of the soul. I don't know what that means. Ether is not each of the soul. No. Ether, like the ether. Guys, take that how it resonates. I don't even know what that means. I'll have to look that one up and see. Maybe there's something out there. So they're saying now you're, you're, in, you're, yeah, you're integrating those parts. You've got more flow. You've got more happiness. For those of you that are wanting to do something with your gift, they're saying some of you are want, wanting to start a business with your gifts because it's very powerful and you've met some other people. Um, guys, take that how it resonates. Um, they're saying more of you are going to be joining up. So, guys, again, take that how it resonates. Um, they're saying a lot of you, you, now that you are on your journey, um, well, this is for those first ones of you. They're saying some of you, all this opening up that you've had, okay, that you're still in the same place where you were because you've been fighting it. So this is, again, a separate message, all right? It's for these people up here that have been fighting the um, the gifts, you know, the gifts coming in and not really being happy about it and fighting it. So they're saying these two are going together, they're saying. Okay, guys, so I guess this is like a little sub-message again of this one right here. Uh, for the rest of you, they're saying... Guys, I when I laid them out, they didn't tell me that. They're telling me that now. And like I said, I think some more, yeah, some more spirit guides or angels have come in or even passed on loved ones to tell whoever this is here this message. All right. For the rest of you, they're saying, you're going to, you you already are either meeting other people or you are, you've gone from the microchism to the macrochism. You're building your foundation either by yourself or with other people. And they're saying the majority of you are like really happy about starting to understand your gifts and where they're going from. Okay. And then they're talking about the rewards for your efforts. So for those of you that join with a, with a group, rather you open your own business or you start trying to figure out how you go to school to, to expand on your gifts, you will have rewards for whatever effort you put into it. They're saying whatever you put into it, you're going to get out of it. If you decide to use it as a business or help people, uh, they're showing me, okay, guys, they're showing me a picture of somebody going to vet school because they realize they heal animals and they now want to go to vet school to help use their energies to heal animals during surgery. Yeah, ooh, yeah, during surgery. Okay, what else? Some of you, they're saying there might be one or two of you that are in um, in the medical field that might now start using your healing gifts to do something with your tools when you do surgery on people. Guys, take that how it resonates. Um, I don't know who that's for, but that's a message for someone. All right, Spirit Guide Angels, what, is there anything else you, you want to tell me to tell them? We're talking all the time, they say. We're giving them messages all the time, says another one. Guys, are kind of stepping up and giving me little messages. Hang on a second here. They're saying smile and be happy for those of you that are still having any doubt or worry about your gifts. They say they're coming. Meditate more. Okay, they're kind of stepping back now. Okay, so guys, that's what they just said to me. Okay, so now we're going to go on to, you know, I've, I've been using the map deck to to explain how you're going to be working on your journey. And um, again, a lot of little bitty messages come in with them when I, when, I, when I start telling you what the cards are representing to me, guys. So this, again, this is uh, kind of different on this one. It's not kind of like, it is kind of going along with the reading, but yet in another way, it's not. So take it how it resonates. And if it's for you, I'm going to, um, it, it's yours now. I mean, just take it however it resonates. So with the gentle gardener, I was, I was at first getting this birth right here. Okay. And then they were telling me, um, also that your thoughts 
sometimes are not your own. And that is when they are talking to you. Again, take that how it resonates, okay? So um, they're just talking about birth and um, being on your journey. And um, some of you are listening, some of you are not. But they are looking out over you and they are trying to, so for some of you, they're saying they're sending other people to try to help you understand. And they're saying, when you're ready, we're right here waiting for you. Okay, guys. And then we have protected treasure or protecting treasure. Some spirit guides in particular are also by your side and waiting patiently for your understanding, more understanding to come in for some of you. The others of you that already know what your gifts are, they're waiting till you get on your timeline, they're saying, to get to where they're going to jump in to help you to do whatever it is regarding your gifts. They're talking about psychic mediums, they're talking about psychics in general, people that see and talk to the dead. They're telling me to tell you there's at least one spirit guide out here that when uh, some guy or uh, when somebody starts communicating with those that have passed on, they're going to be there as your personal protector. Take that how it resonates, guys. Um, and they're saying some of you, you're going to want to be trying to rush the process. You're going to feel like you're kind of like stuck in the mud and just going around in circles. And there's, there's, they're pointing out all this light in the background. They're saying, we're here with you. And you're being over anxious while you're waiting for the next thing to come in. They're saying, take a chill pill. <laughs> Guys are saying, take a chill pill. It's coming. They're saying some of you are raring to go. And you have all this. They're saying this is all this expansion that when you get there, things are going to go boom. They're saying they're trying to put things into line for you so that when you get to them, you're going to take off running. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever, I mean, for their size and bulk, guys, elephants can run pretty damn fast. Okay? So, they're saying if you're feeling stuck in the mud, it's coming. Take a deep breath. Take a chill pill. <laughs> because they're just saying, guys, it's, you know, some of you, some of you on your journey are going to have to wait a little longer than others. But it's coming. The universe has to put everything into place for you. Guys, take the how it resonates. Okay? For others of you, we then have the, it's in the details card. They're saying some of you are still going to have to do some research. Or wait till you come across certain people. Or again, something in your timeline. For someone to come and make some sense of some things for you. But you have luck and time on your side. They always, they keep, always point this thing out, and, and it looks kind of like a horseshoe. It's also a compass. So some of you, they're saying, need to listen more to their heart. And some of you, they're showing me that remote viewer, or that, that mediator or that um, consultant. They're saying some of you are going to have to consult other people along the way to make sense of all the little things on your trail. Guys, take that how that resonates. Um, let me see what else they're telling me about this. They're saying, see how they got the micro... The, the, guys, see how they have this... The the um, the glass over the, the word, to, the magnifier over to magnify clarity. Okay? They're saying some of you are missing some of the finer details that they've been telling you. Oh, and they're also saying something about your thoughts between these two. Okay, hang on a minute, guys. Let me see what they're saying. Pay attention to your thoughts. Ooh, some of you pay attention to the music that you hear because it, you're going to hear a line or two in a song or maybe even a book that you read that's going to, that there, that's a message to you from your spirit guides and angels that will bring immense clarity. Ah, okay, I get that. Okay, yeah, okay, that's what they were trying to tell me. Okay, guys, so they're saying be patient. Some of you in reading or listening or, or 
or you get that sudden song in your head where you pick up a book and you're it's just a, something in general and you're going to see one thing that you're going to you're, you're gonna, it's going to spark you and you're going to go oh ah i see that okay someone else is going to have um, be talking to someone or have someone be helping them look up something or make some sense out of someone and they're going to say something that'd be like the consultant type energy then the other person's going to say th something and you're going to go oh I see okay and it's going to make a whole lot of sense to you what else are they saying about this I can't even see what that is um, I'm not sure I don't know all right, we're going to just go on. All right, guys. So the next thing is peaks of joy. Some of you, when this transformation finishes up with figuring out where you're going, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, they're saying. Okay? Because some of you that are already on your journey, when you start seeing some of the rewards or meeting some of the other people or having other things come in. And guys, this is a 3-3 three, three card. I think that's part of an angel number. Let me try to pull in exactly what they're saying with this. Um, oh, they're saying by, where is that at here? Oh, right here. Okay, okay. All right, they're pointing something out to me, guys. So they're saying for some of you, when you go through a new opening, it has nothing to do with that message. They're saying, because they're, they're starting to have me shift things around because different angels and spirit guys are coming in for messages. Some of you are going to go through a new opening. And when you kick the past to the curb, see how she's looking towards the past? It's going to bring all this golden light in. I don't know if y'all can see that's golden light here, the way, um, but yeah, there we go. Some of you, after you go through a new opening and let something in the past go, all this new light and energy is going to come in and you're going to see a new trail or a new path open up for you. Guys, take that how it resonates. They, they Here lately, they've been giving me lots of little messages with the whole message. So, because they're, again, like I said, I call in other people's angels and spirit guides. And sometimes, and here lately, it feels like more and more people are showing up or from the other side, they're giving me messages that are coming through. They do want you to know to stay encouraged. Look at all the golden light in this card, guys. They're saying they have your back. And even though you, this may feel brand new to you, they're saying some of you even have ascended masters that are saying, we're here for you. It's a new dawn. Hang on, guys. They're giving me messages. And it's going to grow. Taller than the mountains. I, I, they're trying to tell me. I don't, I'm trying to understand what. They're just saying that they're going to encourage you. And for some of you, this may feel real brand new to actually be going out on a journey to use your gifts, but they have your back. And they're with you every step of the way, even if you feel like you're facing one way and they're facing another and you're having to turn around to see if they're still there, they're still there. See how he's got it? They're pointing out how he's got his head kind of turned around. They're saying, we are here. We do have your back. You may not always feel us or see us, but we are here. Okay. Take that how that resonates, guys. Then we have one ring circus here. And again, they're pointing out some of you. Some of you are. Some of you, they're saying, are way past all this. So they're saying this isn't even going along with. They're saying this is. There's a couple of you, they're saying, that have already gone way. Oh, okay. Well, hang on. Okay, they're saying some of you that have already are already knowing exactly where you're going. They're saying it's up to you. But if you be so kind that if somebody, if you talk to someone that is in confusion, you would take the time to explain things to them. That's a message for someone. All right, guys, they say whoever this, they're, so they're saying there's more than one, but they're saying this energy here on this card. They're saying there's quite a few of you that have enough knowledge now that if you want to reach out and help other people, in whatever way that you will be able to help a lot of other people that are that are not understanding what their journey is quite yet that you have the knowledge to help other people you are a one ring circus so they're pointing that out whoever that's for and then um again we've got then we have cleaning house and we have wishing well 
And they're telling me that for some of you, you ha you're going to have to, again, kick the past to the curb and figure out which doorway do you want to take. How do you want to go forward with your gifts? They're saying some of you might actually decide to write a book about your experiences because you have some very profound psychic dreams or meeting with people from the other side. What else? They're saying some of you, they're saying specifically some of you need to clean out the clutter for yourselves so the, the new light and new journey can come in. Okay. Pointing out this, and they're saying something about these things in this. They're saying some of you have some clutter that you need to get rid of, but some of you have some clutter that you saved from a child that has memories attached to it that will help make your gifts open up faster because you've put them on a shelf. What? Okay, so guys are saying some of you have gifts that when you were a child was told that this was not possible. Some of you that see the dead, they say. Some of you that they've been trying to tell you what something from your past and you've put those but you were being told by a family member that you were not that that wasn't real, that it was a your imagination or a dream or something not real. So you put it into a drawer, some, and there's something in a drawer that if you go look through it and pull it out, it's going to help bring back some of those memories that you've repressed because you were told that wasn't possible as a child, and it's pure BS. Some of you have some things hidden away you need to go look out. And along with those things, there's other things they say that you do need to get rid of, but there's a couple of things that some of you may have put away. And this, they said this could also be the clutter in your mind, too. Some memories you have locked away or some dreams that you now need to pop open and re-examine. Guys, take that how that resonates. They're giving me several different messages. For, the, for others of you, they're saying, make a wish, make a dream, throw it in the wishing well. And it's going to come true. Pick one goal and work on it. They're saying anything is possible, guys. And again, they're pointing out the light down here, saying they have your back. Some of you bloom where you're planted. Some of you, some of you just come make a wish and focus on what it is you want to accomplish. And they will all have your back. They will all help you. Don't let nothing in the past, don't let nothing in the past stop you from creating a brand new future for yourself with your gifts. You will meet other people along your journey. You have an ascended master looking over you. You're going somewhere. You're going somewhere. Guys, take that how it resonates. So, guys, that's what I have for y'all this morning. This is for the Aries, Leo, Sag. And, guys, seriously, I, I, I had a couple of extra energies pop up in here to give specific people messages. Um, they've been kind of here lately pushing me towards getting rid of some of the rune readings and focusing on the cards more. Guys, I've been doing runes for over 20 years. So, they're saying that, no, they're saying, no, we want you to use them differently. They... They're saying they want me to start doing cards and then just do a main message in runes at the bottom. Okay. Guys, there's a message for me. All right. So, guys, this is this is, uh, for the... Guys, I swear, they just they just told me, they said, they said we're going to start focusing on the cards and we're just going to do a message at the bottom in the runes. Okay. Guys, I made a joke one time and said I do what my Rice Krispies tell me to. But, guys, I listen to my angels, my ancestors, passed on loved ones. Um... I have been um, 
really trying to work on understanding more clear, clearly how they are talking to me. And it seems like every time I call in other people's angel spirit guides and another one pops up, then another one pops up. I want to get this one little message out. And that's why I get all these. So guys, I'm channeling more and more. So after I do the, um, the water signs, I might start doing my readings a different way just simply because there I've have I'm calling in other people's angels and angels and spirit guides and stuff. I'm just having more energies pop up to give off a message here, a message there. So, um, I don't know guys, <laughs> I'm just going to have to see how this goes because my gifts are expanding too, guys. All right. So guys, be a light in the darkness. Be a hero. Be your own hero. Be a future world changer. Help one person at a time. Lena Scott Lighthouse.